Hey everyone, it's Joey from the Wildwood Video Archive and the Wildwood Bulwark Facebook page. And today I wanted to give you guys an update on the deconstruction of the Flitzer. And let me tell you, we came here and there was a big surprise. Um, let's just say, you know, this is the 50th year for Maurice Piers and they're not going to disappoint. You can tell from everything that's going on here that they have a lot of big plans for Surfside Pier. I'm going to give you guys a tour and I'm going to get the drone in the sky. Now I will tell you that there is a rule down here at Maury's. Uh, you can't fly the drone within 200 feet of the pier. So we're going to stay outside of that perimeter. Um, so it won't be as close up. We'll, we'll try to zoom in and show you guys. But I think next year you may not recognize Surfside Pier as you know it today. There's a lot of change coming our way. Uh, I'm going to first walk around and show you what it looks like over here. And down on the other side and then we'll get the drone up. Uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button, and uh, enjoy, guys. As you can tell in this video, of course, the flitzer is gone and the doo-wopper is gone. Also, you have the, I forget the name of it, it's a swing for the, the kids. It used to be right over on this side, right over here. So that, that also has been removed. And we'll walk down a little bit further down so you can get another view of it. Plus, they have a couple other rides down you can look at. You can see all the ride parts hanging out over here. And we'll make our way down towards uh, two more lens towards where Kang is. As you could tell, the teacups are gone. They were removed last time we saw. They were sitting right over here. They completely took them out. I don't know if they're getting paid in, painted or getting moved somewhere else. Now, as I just mentioned before, you know, we didn't see the teacups on the pier. And believe it or not, they're actually sitting on the trailer on the beach. Right over here. We'll go ahead and uh, videotape it for you guys. Here's the teacups. You see they're just sitting on the beach here. I wonder if they're going to repaint it for this year. But I feel like the middle part was recently repainted last year. Maybe they're repainting this platform here. Now, I, I was actually going to go back on the boardwalk, but I just saw something really interesting. They got rid of the basketball net. It looks like they ripped off the entire court is completely gone. This space is completely open. Now, if you remember years ago, these have the, the bumper cars over here. And I even think at one point they had the Sea Dragon over here, too. Guys, there's big changes coming. Big changes. Now, I tell you, I, I kind of know what they are, and I can't tell you, and it kind of sucks. But um, this is really exciting. Kind of makes me, it makes me really excited for summer. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and get the drone up. Once again, you can only be 200 feet away, which is pretty much on the other side over there. So we'll put it up over there, and then we'll go 200 feet on the other side of Dino Beach, and just get you know, 350 feet up and kind of just circle the pier so that way you guys can see everything from above. Because there are a lot of changes. I mean, <laughs> just looking, oh my gosh, I'm just noticing this now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it. Do you notice anything? Well, let me turn the camera around for you. Do you notice anything strange going on with it? Any guesses? Press pause and write in the comment section because I'm going to tell you in a second. All right. So if you know what it looks like, you know it only has LEDs on all of these legs. Plus, all the gondolas are gone and the sign's gone. What is going on? This is insane. Let me zoom in so I can actually show you it. There's no sign. There's no LEDs going down the side. And there's no gondolas. Look at that. Now, I have no idea what that means, but I, I, I don't think they could ever move it, to be honest with you. And the main reason why is because right here is a big block of concrete, a big block of concrete over there. And those are what keeps it still when this ride's moving, because it needs a lot of footprint and needs a lot of base. Uh, so this thing doesn't go anywhere. So I can't imagine that they would ever move this thing. So it looks like they're refurbishing either the lights or the cars, they're repainting it something. I have no idea what it is, but it's exciting. It really is. And of course, I'll show you guys down this side of the pier, just so you have an idea of what... The Flitzer's gone. It's 100% gone. <laughs> um, here we go. This is the doo-wopper here, taken apart. Here you could see the kid's swing ride, which is right here, is gone. Flitzer's gone and the doo-wopper's removed. You can see under here, that's the concrete 
that was part of the uh, go-karts. And down the pier, there's the kids' wing. Uh, let, let's get this drone up in the air. 